Hey y'all, Hot Rod Dad here. You know it's nearly May and it was only 30 degrees when I woke up this morning. It's so cold I'm having to burn some dead dinosaur farts up in here just to stay warm. Sure would be nice to have just a little dab of that global warming this morning. I'm sorry y'all. It's not appropriate to call it global warming anymore. Now it's climate change. It's Earth Day. In honor of Earth Day this year, I got in touch with my inner hippie. I dug out my old tie-dye t-shirt, and I'm going to bring y'all a video on recycling. Recycling old tin, that is. I'm going to take y'all on a video walk-around tour of Oscar. So y'all stay tuned. Oscar is, for all practical purposes and for ease of identification, a 1954 Chevy 3100 half-ton pickup. But, in all reality, Oscar is a hodgepodge of parts that's been upcycled and recycled from several decades. When I started out to build this truck, I started with just the cab and the front sheet metal, the hood, the fenders, the inner fenders, the core support, the grill. That's about all I had. On the front here, I've recycled a 1949 Plymouth bumper that I made the bumper brackets for. The headlight rings came from a Studebaker car and the singular floodlight I picked up at a swap meet for eight bucks. And yes, it does work. I took all that sheet metal and I mounted that on a 1982 Chevy S10 uh, long wheelbase single cab chassis. Up here I've got some eBay finds, uh, which are these vintage West Coast Junior mirrors. On the inside, it's pretty sparse. It's just a pair of bucket seats I picked up at the Pull Apart in Knoxville, Tennessee out of a 1974 Mercedes Benz. Picked those up for 40 bucks. On the floor is the old prayer rug. Now, anybody that knows me knows why I call it the prayer rug. That's because it's an old rug that the wife threw out of the kitchen and I used it to lay on the cold concrete while I was building the truck. And all the while I was praying I would get done before I started throwing tools. Now moving on to the back right here is just a little bit of cheeky goodness with the horseshoe holding up the gas fill. Now the bed I started out with just the perimeter metal frame here off an original flatbed truck. I shortened it and narrowed it. All I had was the two sides and the back. I didn't even have the front section right here, so I just fabricated that by hand and I contoured it to the back of the cab. The bed floor came from a industrial pallet that some equipment came in on. Those boards were 22 feet long originally and I just kind of laid them out in a wide, narrow, wide, narrow pattern so that it would fit the width that I was looking for. Uh, back here on the back was the one of the items that I envisioned for this truck from the very beginning is the Yosemite Sam back off mud flaps. They're dated on the back 1974. I picked those up on eBay. Now this is probably the most unique feature of Oscar. It's a built-in storage unit I put in under the floor. It allows me to throw in a couple of lawn chairs and some tools and some snacks when I'm going to the car show. I named this truck Oscar because it's green and a little grumpy like the Sesame Street character. Oscar is about 95% junkyard dog. It's got uh, very few aftermarket parts on it. It's got upcycled and recycled parts on it. It's got new old stock parts on it. In fact, some folks would argue that keeping these old rides on the road is as environmentally friendly as any hybrid. And in fact, this truck is a hybrid because it burns both gas and rubber. Now, moving around here to the passenger side, you find another very unique feature to Oscar. It's a donation jar I installed especially for guys who like to give their unsolicited opinion at car shows saying things like, you should have put a LS in that, or that'll look nice when it's painted. Now they can shove their opinion, along with their money, right in the old gas hole. 
So if you see old Oscar at the car show, help a brother out. Show your benevolence. Maybe someday I'll be able to afford a paint job. I recycle an old nail apron to make cup holders out of and attached it to the door because every old truck needs cup holders. Every self-respecting hot rodder should have a custom gear shift knob on their right, so I made up this see no evil for Oscar. Now under the hood, we've got 350 cubic inches of naturally aspirated small block Chevy engine and a 350 turbo transmission I picked up out of a low mileage early 80s Corvette. On the firewall, I've got the brake booster from the S10 donor and I sprang for an aftermarket radiator and cooling fan to keep everything cool. Hey y'all, thanks for watching and checking out Oscar with me. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share this video. Until next time, y'all get in touch with your inner hippie, recycle an old car or truck, and as always, Y'all get out there and build something.